Hello, my brothers and sisters. Grab your Bibles and turn to 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12. And then you'll also want to jot down Psalm 73, Luke 18, verses 9 through 14, and uh, 1 John chapter 2, verse 6. Let's pray together and we'll get started. Lord, we love you. We thank you so much for this word. We, we pray that you speak so clearly to our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh my goodness, I, I, I think that today is going to touch every heart in the room because what we're going to talk about today is who we compare ourselves with. That is so much our human condition, our human nature, our, our sinful and fleshly nature is to be comparing ourselves with others. Uh, Paul in this passage in 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 12 says, We do not dare to classify or compare ourselves with some of those who commend themselves. When they measure themselves by themselves and compare themselves with themselves, they are not wise. Now, other translations other than NIV do a little better job of getting the point because they say compare themselves with each other because that's what's being talked about here. Is these folks had a tendency to compare themselves with others in the body of Christ. And that is such a tendency and that might be yours. And so today as we're asking the question, who do you compare yourself with and what does that do to you? you may be one of those who compare yourselves with others in the body of Christ, and that's not wise. Um, and then also, there are those who compare themselves with people in the world around them, sometimes with a feeling of superiority, like in Luke 18, verses 9 through 14, when Jesus tells the parable uh, of the, the Pharisee and the tax collector, and they were both up at the temple praying, and the Pharisee stood up and prayed about himself, God, I thank you that I'm not like other men, robbers, evildoers, adulterers, or even like this tax collector, right? So, so that comparing ourselves uh, to others and feeling superior uh, to those in the world. But also, there's a tendency to compare ourselves with those in the world and, and actually feel some jealousy or resentment when you see uh, people in the world with all kinds of what appear to be um, blessings in their lives or good things that come to them even though they uh, pursue all kinds of evil thoughts. Psalm 73 captures that so well <laughs> when the writer is, is saying, look, man, I envied the air arrogant. I saw their prosperity. Their bodies were free from all the pain of human ills and, and they, they had amassing wealth. They were free from trouble. They had lots of friends. You know, so, so what happens is, is we begin to compare ourselves with people who have a lot of money or have a lot of popularity or, or, or have good, healthy, strong bodies or whatever the case may be. And, and we can compare ourselves with those in the world and feel jealous or envious. All right, so anyway, uh, if it's you, um, just asking yourself the honest question, who do I compare myself with? Ultimately, we all know that the one we should be comparing ourselves with and desiring to be like is Jesus. And so that 1 John chapter 3, verse 6 that we spoke of, where he says that whoever claims to live in him must walk as Jesus did. I mean, it's like, I want to I wanna love like him. I want to live like him. I want to be constantly looking at him as the example. Second Corinthians, uh, no, 1 Corinthians 11, 1, Paul says, follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. Just looking at that, I want to compare myself with Jesus, right? But here's the thing. We want to ask that during this Discovery Bible study that you focus in on 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12, and this whole comparison issue, and just kind of get honest and share with each other, who are you more tempted to compare yourself with, and what does that do in your life? Is it people in the body of Christ? Is it comparing yourself with the sinful world and feeling superior, or comparing yourself with those in the world and maybe feeling uh, jealous or resentful? Um, or are we comparing ourselves with Jesus, with the desire to be like him? This will be a lot of fun. God bless you as you go into your Discovery Bible study of 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12.